Good morning, early birds. I am very bullish on this market, and I will be into next year. <clears throat> Cases are rising, but I have a feeling that this vaccine that they're coming out with is going to make a big difference for 2021. And we're going to get us a Santa Claus rally that you've never seen before in your lifetime. But I'm going to talk about Walmart right now. I'm in Walmart for a swing. You know, I'm a technical trader. I trade on technicals only. I trade off the tape. The tape tells me exactly how much money's coming in and out of a trade. I trade with the level two and I trade off news. But I am totally a technical trader and I've been charting uh, patterns and also uh, candlesticks. I've really started to emphasize my trading on candlestick patterns here in the last year and it's made a huge difference in getting into the trades before and getting out of them before the, the sellers start to hit the market. So let's go ahead and talk about Walmart. I'm very excited about Walmart. I think Walmart's good, sales are going to increase by 40% at least. Uh, you know, they had to take some major precautions and preventions for COVID. And I shop there all the time. I'm in and out of their stores. I do appreciate Walmart, and it is a recession stock. But I do believe that people are going to... That, and, Sales have not dropped at all, but sales are coming out today and they're going to be good. I don't know how good they're going to be. I think this is what I want you to watch next is we're going to do a little video here. And I like, really liked how this guy talked about it. Check out shares of Walmart hitting a fresh all time high today. The retail giant reporting earnings to market are betting that the gains are nowhere near over. Bonowin's got the action. Take it away, Bonowin. Looking ahead to tomorrow, you can see that calls outpace puts three times to one. And if you take a step forward, you see that options are implying a 4% move in either direction between now and Friday. Compare that to just roughly over a 1% move over the last four quarters of earnings. And I want to point out 15,000, 15,000 of the no 155 calls traded about 220. But what's jumped out to me is that a small portion of that was spread against the no 20, no 27th, 155 call spread that traded for 40 cents. They're actually betting that the stock will remain slightly muted up until this week and then have a move higher next week. Only spinning a quarter of a percent to protect your move to the upside, buying yourself a week of time. That jumped out to me. Hello, I'm back again. So like you said, three times uh, uh, volume over puts. And I like to find that information out through Thinkorswim. I go down here and I just read, you know, the calls here, 167,371 with a uh, put ratio of 62,000. So it kind of went up there, looked like a little bit, but almost three times. So I'm excited about that. I got in the trade. We'll see how she does. But we're going to go ahead and talk about the chart right now. And let's bring up the, the uh, 50 day, if I could find it here. There it is. This is why SMA chart, I always like to look at this on the yearly. I already know about the news, so I'm going to take that off. I always look at the news first. Every time they have earnings, we have a pretty good look. Well, here they didn't have too good of a pop, but that's about the time COVID came in. So we had all that drama. But we did have a nice pop up, and she did bounce after a couple months and created new highs. So what I'm thinking is we're going to keep doing the same thing. We're going to keep on breaking on up to the higher highs. We did break a, a two-year high right here, or a one-year high right here, and that might be an all-time high at 151.29, and I'm going to put that right in here for a resistance level to break or a support level to hold, because I like them 52-week highs. There's 151.29, so this could pull back to that 151.29 and continue the bounce on up. I'm going to go ahead and probably scale out some of it on the earnings today when I get a pretty good pop. Hold on to some and buy into next week. Or I think I am in next week. I think I got out a little bit ahead of everybody. So we're going to put a couple trend lines in here for pullback supports. It's had a pretty nice little run. I'm doing basing this on the, bodies, the bodies of the candlesticks. These are my resistance levels. And support levels. I need to magnify this up. I hope I don't get the hiccups during this video here. Bam, right there at 152.44, 43. So let's go ahead and look at the 20 day. We're going to see if we can find a little support level here. You know, oh, she kind of dropped up here after hours already. I got to check this out. 
153.90. We closed at 152.44, so we're still good. She did have a, a nice little dip right there, pre-market. <clears throat> I want to take that to the one day and just have a look at it and see what happened here. Yeah, just a couple people wanting to get out, but she'll retrace back up. I'd like to see it get back up here and break this double top of 154.49. And that's where I'm going to put that little trend line. Then we got a little support level right here. It's that previous high. She pulled right back to it, and she gained support off that previous high. This is something that I tell traders in the room all the time. Don't chase these breakouts. Wait for it to pull back to the previous high. You'll always get a second chance to get into the trade. Don't rush yourself. Let the trade come to you. There's 153.39 is going to be our solid support. I want to keep it in this channel for today. If I can keep it in this channel, I'm going to be very happy. If it bounces off the 153.39, it's a very strong support level. And then I'm going to add another resistance break right in here, right around 153.90. Could raise that. I'm going to raise that up just a little bit. Well, no, I'm going to keep that there. We'll keep it there. So I'm bullish on Walmart. We had the big volume spike into close last night, and she ran on up. Now she's just kind of few profit takers are getting in here that just like to hit the pop and let's see if we can break the double top of 154.50 today that is walmart let's go to walmart fill up our shopping carts pinball bird seeds all things you need right now and that's walmart so always remember hit that little twitter bird we appreciate it we're getting follows in here all the time and we also, on our website, we also have the stock twits. And we have the YouTube channel. You can go back and watch previous videos. Just always remember, I love stocks.